Okay, good day everyone. My name is Teacher Juan and I will be your teacher for listening and speaking class. So in this part of the class, you'll be able to develop your listening skills and how to become an effective listener and of course, a chance for you to have your speaking practice. So in this part, we will have an, a topic for us to come up with a good conversation. So our topic for today will be about introducing yourself. So in this case, um, people meet for the first time and they provide such information like, for example, name. So when they meet for the first time, one of the important information that they give is name and of course we have age. And if the person has an educational background or if she or he is, she has an occupation or job, right? So in this part, I will be playing a listening conversation about two people introducing themselves and what are the basic information that they provided in this conversation. So all you have to do is listen and write down the information that you can um, understand from this conversation. Hi, I don't think we've met. My name's Tom. Hi, Tom. Nice to meet you. My name is Juanita, but everybody calls me Jenny. Nice to meet you, Jenny. So, where are you from? Well, I'm originally from Argentina, but we moved to the United States when I was about five years old. Oh. My parents now live in Chile. That's where they first met. How about you, Tom? I was born in Fresno, California, and we lived there until I was seven. Then, since my father worked for the military, we moved all over the place. Oh, yeah? Where are some of the places you've lived? Mostly, we lived overseas. We spent ten years in Korea, Germany, and Japan. And then we were transferred back to the States three years ago. Wow. It sounds like you've had an interesting life. So what do you do now? I'm a university student. Oh, really? What do you study? I'm majoring in psychology. How about you? What do you do? Well, I'm working as a sales representative for a computer company called CompTech downtown. No kidding. My brother works there, too. Okay. In that conversation, we have two people talking to each other. Basically, we have men and of course a woman so let's have one information from the man so the man provided an information about his name so his name is Tom and the woman provided also an, his infor uh, her information about his, her name so her name is Jenny right both of them they provided an educational background but in this case, the woman is already working. So let's have the first word. Representative and for the man, major. A while ago, you heard about educational background. So the man is studying in university and his major is psychology. So what do you mean by major? So major, another word is course. So it is the field of their study. So every person who goes to university or college has to take their major. So major, it can be like, for example, nurse, engineer, or what experience do, do they want to gain in their university. And then woman is a sales representative. So a person who is appointed or who is chosen to act for someone or for others. Okay, so their sales representative, representative for a computer company. Okay, so in this part, I want you to make sentences using the information that you gathered from the conversation. So we will have for men and women. So I already provided two information. So in your part, you will have three informations more to give for the men and the, from, from the woman. So, last part, I'll be playing the conversation and have your information, okay?